29 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this select menu i mean like select social media by just using html css and javascript so now let's suppose if we click on it so here you can see it will now gives us all of these social medias right here and now let's suppose if i want to select this facebook so now if i click on it so here you can see our selection will be now set to facebook and if you want to select like youtube so it will now give us youtube and if you want to select like twitter so now it will select this twitter right here okay and so on and so forth so this is what we are going to be building in this video so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code in the description of this video you will find a link to my github repository so i want you to just download this folder like o29 folder inside this folder you will find these images right here the first one we have is that arrow.png so it will just open it for a second and then we have a Facebook and then Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, WhatsApp, and YouTube right here. So I know we can also use a font awesome, but we are not going to be using that for this project. So for this specific project, I've designed these images right here. So you can use that if you want to, or if you want to use a font awesome, so you can also use that. All right. So now let's, uh, let me show you like, how did I remove these background images? Uh, from these images so like how did i remove this background from these images so now let me show you that really quickly so let's suppose we have a image of like uh i don't know image or image with white background there we go so now let's suppose i'm going to click on this banana and now let me just save this to my desktop so let me just render it right click on it and then save it into my desktop it's already saved let me delete this one and then save it all right so just replace it or whatever so the next thing i want to show you is like go to this website called background not background but just remove dot bg okay and now you don't have to install any photoshop or any tools like that to remove the background of your image so i'm re-recording this video so that's why i've already downloaded this image so that's why i deleted it and replaced it with this one so if i click on that then you can choose your own image right here so like you can choose whichever image you like and you want to remove the background from it so in my case i'm gonna just click on this banana and click on it so here it will now just remove that background for me so now if you want to download the full image with a high quality resolution so for that you can click on that and you just have to sign in okay and now if you don't want that so you can just click on this download button and it will start downloading so if i click on this banana so here you can see it will now give us this clear version with no background whatsoever right here okay so now we know how to remove the background so now let's suppose if you want to edit this image so you can also do that so let's suppose if i just go to this erase and restore and if i want to erase like this portion of this image so i can also erase there and now if i don't want this image and that portion to be removed so you can just click on the restore and we can just restore it right here okay so you can play around with that if you want to and we can just increase and decrease the burst sizes right here like let's suppose we want to just remove something so you can also do that and you can then download your image all right so that was it about removing the background so now let's jump right into our project and then let's create a file inside this folder given name of like index.html okay so now let me just zoom out a bit so we can see everything a bit clear so let me just hide this images folder click on this menu and then um style.css okay all right so i wrote three css i can't see that so finally we have to just write this app.js so just write app.js okay so now we have these three files right here. so now let me just zoom in a bit so that we can see everything so the first thing i would do for html so i'll just change the title to like social media uh menu select okay and then i'll link it with my css file and my javascript file as well so then i'll hide my metas from there right click on it open with a live server and now we are good to go so for html portion we are going to be writing the first thing is header so inside this header we will have our div with the class of selector inside this selector we will have a div with the id of select field okay and inside this select field we have a paragraph with the id of select text okay and then inside this text we are going to be writing like select social uh, media underneath this paragraph we are going to be writing our image so here is our first image which is that 
arrow so once we save it so now it will give us that error right here it's massive i know so you'll just make it a bit smaller all right so underneath this div we are going to be writing our list so i'll just write like ul and we'll give our id of list and the class of hide okay underneath this ul we are going to be writing a specific allies so I'll just write like li options and it will give him a class of options then inside that we are going to be placing our image right there so we have images and the first one we have is a facebook now let's remove that alt and let's put our facebook in there so facebook all right so there we go so now let's duplicate it a few times so this one about a facebook then instagram and pinterest twitter whatsapp and youtube so change these to like uh from list from facebook to then uh instagram so i'll just write instagram 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 all right so the third one we would have is from facebook to pinterest so i'll just write pinterest so Pinterest and then change this Facebook to Twitter and also this text to Twitter. Okay, and then finally let's change this Facebook to WhatsApp and this one to also WhatsApp. And then finally we have a YouTube, so I'll just write YouTube and then change this one to YouTube or what not. Y uppercase and T uppercase and there we go. So for now, let me just show you the, all of the HTML code. So the first thing we have is a header and inside this header, we have this selector. And then inside this selector, we have a field like select field. And then we have um, ID of select text. And then we have this arrow image right here, okay? So now once we jump right into a CSS, we cannot see there because first of all, we are going to be styling that and then we are going to be jumping right into the UL and allies and this stuff. So for now, I want to comment all of them. So once we save it, we cannot see nothing except this arrow right here. So now I want to zoom in a bit so that we can see everything a bit clear. And now let's take it side by side. Okay, so that's that. And you know what? I'll just make it a little bit bigger. All right, so the first thing I would do is I'll select everything and I'll change the margin to zero and padding to padding to also zero and font family will be sent serif, save it, and that's that. So the next thing which you have to select is a header. And inside this header, we have to give a width of 100% and the height of also 100%, not 100%, but VH for viewport height and background image will be just like a linear gradient. And now we have to form a linear gradient for ourselves. So I'll just go to vn.com. So here we can choose a lot of gradient. Okay, so you can choose whichever you like, but in my case, I'm gonna just go with this one, I guess. Oh, you know what, that one will be cool. So copy this hex code, paste it there, comma, then copy this hex code and paste it there. Server file and here is our background color or linear gradient, whatever you want to call it. All right, so now let's take it side by side. And the next thing which I'm gonna do is I'll just write a display of flex because we want everything to be center. So that's why we are writing justify content and line items of center. All right, so that was about a header. So the next thing I'll do is I'll select this uh, I'll select this image and make it a bit smaller. So for that, we have to select this select field and inside the select field, we want to select this image right here. So now we have to give a width of 12 pixel and transition will be transform, transform of 0 0.5 seconds, save it. And this is what it looks like, okay? And the next thing which you have to do is that we have to select this selector and then provide a width to it. So we are going to be just writing there, like width will be 350, pixel save our file and this is how it looks like and the next thing which we have to do is to just select this select field copy it and paste it right here and we also have to select it okay so now inside this select field we are going to be writing a width of 100 percent and then we have to provide a little bit of padding like top and bottom will be 15 and left and right will be 20. and now let's provide a background to it so i'll just write a background of RGBA, RGBA, and now it will be 255, 255, 255, one more time, and 0 0.7. Save it, and this is how it looks like right now, okay? So, the next thing which I'm gonna do is that I'll just provide a little bit of margin, bottom of 30 pixel, save it, and this is how it looks like right now, and then we have to just provide a little bit of box shadow, not shadow, but just box 
sizing will be border box and then we have to just write like border radius of six pixel okay so this is how it looks like right now and the next thing which you have to do is to just separate both of them so for that we are going to be writing like display of legs and justify content will be space not around but between cell file and now it's looking good and the next thing is align items will be center and cursor will be pointer okay so whenever we hover over to it so this is how it looks like currently right now okay so the next thing we have to jump right into is our list so we have to uncomment this list right now save it and now everything is looking ugly i know that now let's jump right into our list now let's select our list right here width will be 100 percent and background will be just like rgba and then we have a 255 255 255 and 0 0.7 the same back i mean like the same um background color and then we have to just change the border radius i know you cannot see that right now <laughs> six pixel and then overflow will be hidden save it and everything is inside this box right here let's just make these images a bit smaller first of all so now let's just select our options and then select these images okay so now give me a width of 25 pixel and then position will be absolute and top will be just like 12 pixel and left will be 25 pixels save it and everything is looking a bit weird because we're going to provide a position relative to this one so now let's do that so the first thing i'll do is i'll just select these options and width will be 100 percent and then position will be relative save it and now our icon is not right here so the next thing which i'm going to do is that i'll also provide a padding to it so like 15 pixel and then zero and then 15 pixel one more time and then 70 pixel 70 pixels save it so now we have to just remove this list style to none and then box sizing will be also border box and that's that save it and this is now looking cool so now let's add a little bit of hover effect to all of these options so we have to do is that we have to just select our options and now hover it okay and then background color will be that same rgba of 255 255 255 0 0.7 okay save it all right so this is that hover effect right here and now the final thing which you have to do is that we have to write a classes for javascript okay javascript so the first one will be just a hide and it will just change the visibility to hidden and then the next class we have is a rotate so i'll just write rotate and this one will just transform uh rotate it to the 180 degree save it so that's that and we provide this hard class right here where are you hard class right here so if we just remove that from there and now here you can see we have these selectors right here and then if we just uh provide that class one more time so that will be gone and we are going to be changing that by using a javascript so now let's jump right into a javascript so i'm going to just go to my javascript right here and we would need a few things to grab first of all so the first thing we would need is that select field second thing we would need is a select text and then the third thing we would need is that list and the fourth thing will be arrow icon and the final thing we would need is that options okay so now let's start with selecting them so you know what i'm going to make everything a bit bigger so we can see it a bit better so let's select field and will be now equals to document get element by id and now let's select or select uh select field okay and duplicate and change this one to here and then select text right here so it will be also select text okay and duplicate one more time and this one will be now equals to list and list duplicate and paste it here remove that from there and now let's change this one from list to arrow icon and now let's change this one from list to arrow icon as well and the final one we have let's just write like let options and will be now equals to document dot get elements uh elements by class name there we go and then we have to just write like options and now we are good to go so now let's just log everything to the console like select field and duplicate a few times and then we have a select next and then we have is a list right here then we have is a error 
icon and then finally we have user options save it and now let's check our thing all right so we are missing something which is that error icon oh i forgot to include i forgot to give my idea of error <laughs> icon sorry all right so now we would have everything right here so we have a select field then we have our select text list hired and then arrow icon and we have all of these allies right here okay which we cannot see right now all right so now we are good to go the next thing which you have to do is just remove all of them and then cut this one cut that one this one and that one as well let's start working on a select field so we want to attach an event listener for that so select field dot add event listener of click so once that's click so the next thing which you have to do is to just fire this function so list dot class list we want to toggle this hide class which we wrote right here um where is it this hide which will just change the visibility to hidden and then here you can see it. this is currently hidden so if you click on that so it will now just toggle the visibility if you click on it one more time so here you can see it will now just toggle our visibility right here okay so that's that the next thing which you have to do is to just write a rotation class which is this rotate, rotate clause and it will just rotate or arrow i mean like this arrow to 180 degree so for that we can just write like arrow icon dot class list dot toggle just rotate save it so now if you click on this so the first thing it will do that it will just open or uh, list items right here and it will just rotate this arrow right here here you can see that all right so that's that all right so now the next thing which we have to do is that we have to iterate over through this option by just using a for off loop okay so option of options options and now let's just write our option dot on click event on click and it will be now equals to this function right here and now you just want to fire this function so you want to select select the text and then we want to change the inner html of it to like this dot whatever text we have selected right here okay so whichever text we've clicked so it will now select that right here okay so next thing which we have to do is that we have to toggle these two classes which will be like list the arrow icon so once we save there and once we click on it and here you can see if i let's suppose if i click on a twitter so it will now select a twitter right here and now let's suppose if i click on youtube and now let's select all of them so that everything is working or not everything is working the way we expect them to work all right so that's there so this is what i want to show you in this project like how can we do uh, how can we make this select menu so this is what i want to show you in this project so if you guys already know get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so you can stick here otherwise the rest of the people can hang out all right so now let me just open my terminal really quickly get bash and remove the other one and the first thing i'll do is get status and now we have this select like 20 and 9 get add everything so it will take a little bit of time once we are pushing it commit dash m and then like uh social meet all right so let's zoom out a bit a little bit more so that we can see it social media select menu hit enter and that's our commit and final thing which you have to do is that we have to push everything to our main repository or github repository if i hit enter so it will take a little bit of time because we have images in this project so that's why it will take a little bit of time all right so now it didn't take a little bit of time than expected so if we clear that and now if you go to our github repository and if you refresh that here you can see we have a select menu if you click on that so here you can find all of these images right here and here you can find this index.html file if you want to copy this index.html file code or javascript code or if you want to just get a gradient where the hell are you this one and if we click on the style.css file so you can find all of this code right here okay so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.